Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will have a look at the work.com website. It's a cool online portfolio by the Work Studio. I've received a tip from Robert. So thanks Robert for hitting me up on Twitter. And here is the deconstruction. There are some very bold transitions, gentle micro interactions and playful UI animations on the site. So if you haven't already, go ahead and visit the park.com website, click around and you'll be amazed with some of the animations. As I said, there is a lot on the site, so we'll try to focus on a few things so I don't bore you and take your time for too long. Enough playing, now let's get to work, open the inspector and try to figure out how some of the animations were created. The GSUB sniffer icon is on, which means that the site is using green sock for some of the animations. Now let's have a look how the logo was created. I'm really curious, as you can see there is a SVG with a group and when I'm hovering over the logo the path dots, the coordinates are animating from values to a final values. That's how it moves up and down and it's also stretching as well. Now let's try to figure out which files are loaded on the page. As you can see, we have a WP content folder. The site is on WordPress. And then we've got a couple of images here with animated GIFs. So these are the preloading animations, okay? so the Loading animations on the page load when you first get to the site are using animated GIFs. Now let's open some of the JavaScript files and see what's inside of it. I will zoom in so we can see what's happening. And the first thing which I see and recognize is a body moving. Okay, I've heard about this. This is, if I remember correctly, a plugin for After Effects. So let's do a quick Google search. And here we are on a GitHub After Effects to HTML library. Okay, so it is After Effects plugin. And my assumption is that a lot of these effects were created in After Effects and then exported into SVG and Canvas animations. Okay, so this is interesting. Inside of a logo, there is a span with SVG and animation container with another SVG. So let's search for the animation container inside of the JavaScript file. And this is the section where we've got an outro. So on outro, something is happening. Then uh, they setting a couple of variables using jQuery, section find, block content, and so on and then we have the body moving api syntax so the render is svg so it's definitely created in after effects and then exported okay so let's keep looking around and now we'll try to figure out how was the navigation effect created okay so when i click on the cross and we open and close the navigation we'll see something happening so I'm wondering whether that's SVG or Canvas. I'll try to hide the animation container and you see it's gone, okay? So, so the animation container inside of that navigation now contains two sections, left and right. And each of the sections has a SVG inside of it. So if I open that, we'll see two SVGs inside of it. If I expand all of these and try to open and close it, the points of the path are animating. And if I inspect the second right side, I guess that is, then we should see a lot of animations inside of the dev tools. Okay, so click on the cross now and we'll see a lot of points being recalculated. And that's what creates that wavy effect on the transition. If you like me, you're probably very curious to know how was the page load takeover effect created. And if you look carefully, there is a container with a class global animation, which is empty and set to display none. But on a page load, while the page is loading, 
it's something inside of it and it's it's set to display block okay so that container definitely contains the loading animation and if i go to a console log and try to hide the global animation just while the page is loading or while the transition is happening we'll see if it really removes it okay so now you see it in action when the transition is happening and i hide the global animation we'll see that it's gone okay so that container definitely contains the svg with the page takeover transition now let's try to figure out how was this elastic hover effect created this bouncy this cool bouncy effect i could do this all day to be honest <laughs> let's try to hide the two sections the two links above it or on top of it and see if we are still getting the same effect when we are hovering over now and yes we are still having the effect in action okay so the two sections don't contain it it must be some other element as i said i could do this forever and underneath we have a canvas object that as you can see when we hide that removes our transition and the last thing we look at is the eye splitting into v in this sticky fashion again this is an effect created using the body moving inside of after effects and then export it into svg javascript animation if i copy the svg inside of an empty code pen you will see the final shape and all the animations before happen using javascript there you have it another website deconstruction hope that was useful thanks robert for sending it through and if you've got another websites which you want me to deconstruct just hit me up on twitter at i hate tomatoes don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more deconstructions like this in the future until next time happy coding bye